They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, if they can execute the run pass option like that, it puts the defense in a really, really tough spot. The running ability of Kyler Murray makes defensive coordinators and players crazy because essentially now you have an extra running back there. So if he keeps it, you've got a problem. If he hands it inside, you're probably not ready for it because you have all your focus back on number one. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Cardinals at four and three, a game over 500. And they come in losers at two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 36. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Now these two teams, they met up way back in the season opener. And it was the visiting Cardinals who came away with the victory. So now they've got a chance here to sweep the season series if they can get the victory in Glendale. From the 31, Murray. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Play action. Now it's Murray. Steps away. Now he'll throw deep left side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. After the interception, here's Stafford. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it into game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. Now on second and 13, Stafford got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 33. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. To throw again on second down. Stafford, that's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that. You can get that to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hatch. And his kick is good. 
So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the first time out, they had the interception. That stopped their drive three points the other way, so now they work from behind. They do, but he's got to walk out on the field like he's working from ahead. All right, He's got to walk out like, hey, I just threw a touchdown pass because all eyes on his team are on him. They gain their confidence from the way he reacts, his demeanor, and how he plays. He's got to show that he has confidence in himself. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Murray going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force it throw, And in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice game to bring up a new set of downs. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. First and ten, here's Murray. And this throw will be intercepted. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Well, those have been a problem for him all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinating. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Stafford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Room here to run. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. Stafford looks to throw again. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 
A really good pickup of 28 yards. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he stopped for no gain. And that's going to bring up second down. Throwing a Stafford. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To the air again, Stafford. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out and try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. A huge play there for Arizona. 52 yards. Gibson is in. Touchdown, Arizona. So the big play to kick off the drive set him up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown, we saw the payoff, but of course that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A one in seven, their record here at the midway point of the season. And right now, this organization, more than likely, if you look at it, CD, probably in for a rough second half of the season. Well, we've seen teams turn things around in other places. I mean, we've seen one in seven first halves turn into five and three second halves. But with this squad, I think these guys aren't playing to get into the playoffs. They're playing for their jobs. So is the coaching staff. They're coaching for theirs. Front office trying to keep theirs. The heat is on from all directions. And what's interesting is a lot of these guys are playing for jobs and, and, and trying to keep their positions. It might be just in the league in some other spot. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. This offense so far on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December. He gets him, gets hit, and he fumbles it. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. 
complete. Well, these are the situations that really test the defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw is Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And this one is right down Broadway. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Here's Gibson to start the drive. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. <laughs> On the jet sweep, here comes Moore. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains. That was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Throwing on first down is Murray. That's complete to McBride. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards of final tally. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Murray now on first down. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Murray now on first down. Looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. To throw again on second down, Murray. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Throwing again, Murray. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. Here's a run with Akers on second down. 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. On first and 10, Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. Stafford. Man open. It's cup. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things right on this drive. They'll go again here with Akers. And down to the 44, five yards that time. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on standing their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 
Cooper Cup, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams have taken the lead here this third quarter. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Rams are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Hamler now on the return. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Rams are going offense here with a first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Well, four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going to the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the gun, here's Stafford. They're going for Hamler, but this is intercepted. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown Cardinals. Rondell Moore. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it will stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So a field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. Yeah. 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guy. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. He's going to try and go deep again. And this one is incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and ten. Here's Stafford. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It. Now Stafford. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Troy Pride. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was all a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They'll go option to the short side. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's Murray. Towards the end zone for Brown. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. 46 yards. And the Cardinals will add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. And that'll be incomplete. 
Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Taken down at the 42. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 35. A good pick up there, 22. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Stafford. Eluding the pressure right. Going to throw right side here, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. From the red zone now, Stafford. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Touchdown, Rams! From 13 yards out. And the Rams have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Trey McBride, the target on that throw. That'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Murray to Moore, first down, Arizona. Looking to throw. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Rams are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offensive coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Throwing quickly, complete out wide. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. 
And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making process. A give running right is Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Stafford now to throw. And he finds Howard complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves to James. Stafford. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. So nothing doing there, and that will bring up second down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Second and ten. In middle, middle, middle. Stafford popping this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. Now it's Stafford. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. He's hit two. He's missed one. This for the win. And his kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. They knew how to quiet this rival stadium, Charles. I mean, not only did they get the win, but they get the win by taking the lead in the fourth quarter to hand their division opponent a big loss. And they're elated, and they should be, because they did exactly that. Went to a rival's house and stunned them and did it with a fourth-quarter comeback. And every team in the league prides itself on controlling the fourth quarter. It's even more difficult when you don't do it at home against a division rival. So for Los Angeles, it's a rare bright spot in what's been a tough season as they move to 2-7 and seven now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they drop back to 500 now at 4 up and 4 down. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town.